good product. You don't really need a lot of it. See some nice straight lines. Parallel to each other as much as possible. Now I want these lines to be a little bit thicker like this, okay? Not the thin lines, you know, especially that's why I'm putting a little bit more pressure on my brush. And I'm spacing it out properly. Look at that. Um, I don't take your clients, unfortunately. This 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 client, she's just been with me for a while, and she's always getting her nails done every two weeks. So I don't have any. I'm not taking clients right now because I'm so busy traveling and teaching. This brush actually does all the work for me. As you can see, it's long. It's almost like a, a ruler. Just leading it down. As long as I put it right next to the, the other line, I'll be fine, right? Ooh, ooh, that's close. There we guys go. I'm gonna cure that first. Go ahead and cure. What happened here? Lean on that side of the machine. I don't want to cry. <laughs> this is what happened. I caught her white handed. See that? You can't trust nobody up in this industry, man. You had one job. One job. And you guys wonder why we charge you an arm and a leg. You know what her first reaction was? How did that happen? Red handed, white handed. Do another thin layer. This is why we do thin layers of gel polish in case of situations like this. You just make up with it. She had her finger next to it. It came together. I'm actually gonna try to do another layer of this on here. Just pop this out a little bit more. I'm literally on my last bit of polish for this one. Jesus. Can you believe my staff actually kept this on the rack, even though they know it's like almost completely out? They're lucky I only need this as a pigment. That's vibrant, isn't it? Switcheroni. Let me see the picture again. I think that this one uh, is like white and black squirrels, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me it's, finish up. It's the sandworm. Yeah. yeah, sandworm. Can I take this one out right now? No, no, no. No. 
this line work, this straight lines. I think a lot of you guys could probably use a little bit of practice for this. Not that hard, as long as you have the right brush. And you just gotta hold your breath. I recommend holding your breath because this actually really helps you stabilize. And if you're, you're just starting out with this, don't do long lines, do very short lines first so you don't pass out. If you, don't, if you can't hold your breath that long, don't attempt long line designs. I've had top classes where we tell students to hold their breath. And I see some students are like black and blue. I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> they really be holding their breath. I mean, like, you can still breathe if, you, if you're about to pass out. I see this black is very pigmented and actually it's very smooth, but actually it stays as a lane. If you notice that if you use a gel polish black, it's gonna actually bleed out and the lines aren't gonna be as crisp like this. Um, this is a gel art paint, it's uh, made for this. So I can paint this and it stays as lane. It'll stay striped without bleeding out. See the last finger I did? Stayed, didn't move. Everything stayed like that. Go in. So now we switch to this end and we do this, the sand warm. I'm going to get my white gel art paint out. This is the white version of it. See, this is also pigmented. It's okay, I got it. Use the other hand. Sorry, I gotta see how this this tail swoops around. Okay, from the top end. Let me change that a little bit. This can be my base for my sand warm tail thing. Now I have to add black to it. Okay. 
Go in. Do the drops too on the yeah. yeah. I have to do the drops. <laughs> I, I'll do that last because remember, I have, I have limited of how much I have of that. Uh, yeah, I was, that's why I asked. I was like, I wonder if he has enough. <laughs> I'll have enough, don't worry. This one I'll do the other direction. This is a sandworm. Yeah. And it's part of Beetle Juice. Mm -hmm. I never even noticed. It's just the tail. His heels? The tail. The tail? He has a tail? I guess so. Well, it's like the tail of the worm. Oh. Yeah, you can say I'm not really into Beetle Juice. I don't really. Mm -hmm know a lot about him other than the fact that I have to do his designs every Halloween <laughs> okay go ahead now we add the black accents to this Sorry, I'm not talking because I'm holding my breath. See how important it is to have gel art paint, guys? If I use regular paint, there's no way these little black details are gonna stay in. They would just bleed all over the place. So that's definitely good to have the right products when you're doing these designs for the Halloween time.
Oh shit, I almost fucked that up. You happy? This is why art costs more, guys. <laughs> Tedious as shit. People coming to you, trying to get you to do this, and then they want you want they want to set for forty dollars. Get out of my inbox. Coffin. Never trust the what? Living. Never trust the living. So this white is pigmented enough to cover up this black. So a nice little coffin here. A coffin over a coffin. <laughs> Secure that first before we do the words. Pray your eyes. How much is this set going to cost? A lot. Charge your worth, charge your time, charge for your artistic ability, charge for your, you know, your craft. Charge for the fact that, you know, they can't go anywhere and get it done like this. That's what you charge for. Any client that understands that will pay for it. Make sure that your work reflects what you're charging though, okay? It's important. The fact of the matter is, if you're doing this on a client, you, you better, they know that you can do this. So yes, they're not gonna go anywhere else to get it done, because they, they've already sought you out. So yes, they will pay for your price. As long as you set that price beforehand, as long as your work reflects the price, there's no reason why you can't charge your worth. Okay. Duh, never trust the living.
I'm gonna see why I do the the border first. In case I mess up on this part, I can always just clean it up and I'll still have my other. So I cured my border first, just for that purpose. In case I mess this part up, I can just clean this out and I'll still have my, uh, my coffin. Which happens. You can cure as you go if you want to too. See how that polish hasn't moved? G kind of janked right there. I'm happy with it. Let me finish one hand. So we can end the live. Because I will finish the other one really quick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to finish one hand for you guys. And I'll show you guys the final one, which is going to be... Sparkle in the middle or no? Yeah. I'm, I already got it right here. Oh, okay. Got this purple glitter sparkle right here. This for the purple. Um, this thing, so I can just. Uh, okay, so for the purple nail. Oh, and then I have to do the um, the drip. I do one more coat of gel. But I'm not gonna cure it yet. I'm gonna take this purple. Now I'm gonna cure it. Ooh, shit. Look at a little badass. That's what's up, guys, that's what's up. You know, this, trust the process, the set, will, the set will come through. I'm, I'm gonna do this one later. Oh, we're gonna wait, okay. Mm -hmm. What? How? What's, what's wet? Oh, you probably touched my glove. Mm. No, you didn't cure this. I can't stand you with the thumb. Good thing I'm doing the hand last. You're not, you're leaning like this. You're not putting it in there. Like, see what you're doing? That's why it's not curing. Cause you're like slanted, so it's not curing. I gotta redo that thumb. But, after that, we just dust off this excess and the glitter will stay on. And of course, we gotta do the drip. Hopefully have enough for the drip. Before that, let me do the drip. I'm gonna try to squeeze as much out as possible for this. Just not much. To try to accomplish this drip. I don't think we'll have enough. Yeah, we, we might. So the drip, I'm gonna do the same concept as I did um, with the, uh, when I painted white. 
I'm gonna do white first. Want to jump from top bottom here? Bottom. Bottom up? Yeah. So I'll do my drip like this. And then I'll go through it with the green later. It'll pop out. Right now you can't really see it because it's the white and white. Once the green hits it, you'll be able to see it. Use my white as a base right now. Okay, go ahead. Get that cured. Yeah, it's so weird. All these people, they're still getting spam comments and stuff like that. These gel pods are from Wave Gel. Okay. Just go over the white. We'll have a kind of a green slime drip from the tip up. Remember, you have to put a white down first because these are like very neon colors. So sometimes it won't pop out unless you have like a white to have as a base. Oh my goodness. I just have just enough of this one finger. Ooh, that's so cute. I'm not gonna lie, that's cute as that's cute as balls. So the real question, guys, matte or top coat? Wow, matte or top coat? Matte or top coat, guys? Oh, the glitter. Um, you can probably get this on Amazon. To be honest with you, just put like glitter or go to like a. Uh, Joanne Fabrics or something like that. You can probably get that. Um, that's just me being honest. It's not really nothing that special. Um, but my question is now is, do we do? I think I think top coat, right, guys? Clear, right? Matt. Okay, let's do matte first and show everybody by Matt. We'll do both. Uh, I'll, I'll do one matte, one top coat, and I'll take a picture. I'll show you guys later. But she likes hers shiny, so I'll do a matte first. So I use my matte top coat. Money back guarantee. Okay. We do Matt. Everybody loves Matt. Every no one likes Ryan. Very thin coat. I guess this is what it looks like shiny. I gotta admit, this set is cute. I, I was a little bit iffy at first when you were bringing me this stuff, but you're, you're two for two for Halloween nails now. Um, yeah. yeah. So let's see what these look like. And I'm gonna finish off the, the other hand after I end the live so I can get out of here because I got somewhere to be.
It'll take me about another maybe five to ten minutes to take, do the other hand because I only got minor things to do. I just got to fix the thumb. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. That was on you. Look at that. So about 30 to 60 seconds for my mat. Um, it's, my mat is a very nice medium consistency mat. It works a lot with, on a lot of things. It gives it a nice, very really nice matte finish. But um, once this thing turns off in about 20 seconds, we're gonna see the finished result. Hey, hey, happy Halloween, y'all. That's what's up. Oh, crooked ass fingers. <laughs> never trust clients. This is what this says. Never trust the client. The other nail, I'm going to put, I'm going to write client down here, okay? Because this is why. <laughs> never trust the client. This is why. Right here, everybody. Never trust the client to put their hands in the gel machine correctly. Look at that. Everybody loving the mate. Alright guys, thank you for joining us. I 